It's KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at you with this motherfucking heat. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shins to the back of her motherfucking neck, holding her down with this motherfucking game, pimping, locking her down with this motherfucking game, keeping her down with this motherfucking game, pimping. But today, this topic is about the fellas. We're going to get right into it. Please like, share, subscribe. Like, hit the thumbs up, share, subscribe. Yeah, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with these videos, piping hot status, you're going to get it down your phone. And until your ear, all ear candy game. Oh, yeah, you're going to get it. Be the first to get it as soon as you hit that notification bell. And remember to like it, share it, and subscribe. Young fellas, damn right. Let's go. Um, Got any comments? Get them in my Gmail, railsfargo12 at gmail.com. That's R E L L S F A R G O 1 2 at gmail.com. Or you can just give me a YouTube. I'm all ears. Shit. Any way you want to, it don't matter. But, uh, man, fuck that. We're going to get right into it. Fuck that. Life is literally what you make it. We're going to get straight. We're going to talk to it. And, and, and I want the young fellas to actually wrap their mind around this message right here. It's very beneficial. It's not detrimental. It's beneficial to your health. <clears throat> I know you see a lot of guys, and this is my young fellas. And the old fellas, the old head fellas, you can take it with a grain of salt, and you can take it with love and care, knowing that um, I'm here to speak for you because I love my fellas. I love my brothers, man. Like I said, I love my sisters. I love my brothers just as well. And this is for you guys, man. You know, uh, to get your shit together, man. Keep your shit together, you know. Um, I want you guys to understand that uh, something that you might not know, and some of you guys may know, but some, a lot of you guys do not know this. And if you following me on this channel, you're gonna be the first to know this. And I'm off the dawn with it. I've been through a whole lot. Been through the system. I've been taken away from my moms before, through the foster care system at a young age. Oh yeah, clowning, fucking up, you know, running out, running out, trying to sell dope, get off into the street life. She couldn't handle it, so they snatched me up. I was ditching school and all that shit. You know how I go back in the nineties and all that shit, or early nineties. Yeah, they was they were going on truancies and all that shit, truancy offs, which led me to actually growing up in the juvenile detention center, in and out of uh, certain facilities, getting caught with a gun here. Getting caught in a stolen car, getting caught selling drugs, getting caught carrying drugs, assaulting a motherfucker, 13, 12, 14, 15, you know, getting down with men at that age. You young fellas now, y'all in a whole different age bracket to where that type of shit led me to prison. I had to wake up from there. I had to catch a, a good grasp on to my life. My mother was, she couldn't handle my father definitely, he wasn't great, he couldn't handle me. You know, it was what it is. I was just one of them childs that I was, I came out dominant, man, like, fuck it. You know, I wanted, I wanted mine. I wanted the respect and I wanted that motherfucking money at a young age. For pumping gas, for selling drugs. What I never did and got into was robbing and taking from people. But I always honestly sold someone something, you know. I always honestly... You know, and it could have been drugs, it could have been a t-shirt, it could have been a pair of sneakers, it could have been a candy bar, it doesn't matter. I honestly sold it at their own discretion of them wanting to buy it. That's how I go. I never took from no one. I'm not into that life. I ain't never fucked over no one that didn't have it coming. I'm keeping it real with you. You know, and that type of shit, you know, mentality and that type of behavior led me into the can. You know, however, it, that mentality also saved me from a whole lot of things that a lot of guys does not, you know, doesn't got a really full mental of that goes on into society. And it's called classism. So remember, life is what you make it. It's literally what you make it. So when you see guys out here, they getting, you know, and I don't, I don't want to speak. I'm not trying to speak on political stance. I'm not trying to speak on no um no um 
revolutionized stance. I'm not into that. I'm not getting into that. So don't take this for that. You know, contrary to proper belief, I'm very educated in in, in that era. I mean, in that area, but um, very educated in that area. But this is not what this channel is about. It's for you fellas to get your shit together. Um, you see guys out here standing on these corners, don't have a job. 24-7, they standing on the corners without a job. They out there hustling. They out there just, you know, probably drinking, catching up with the fellas, soliciting something, whether they selling something, they want to pump your gas and groan at some motherfucker, you know. And these type of guys are the guys that be the target for the street police. Why? Because it's classism. You bringing down the class of normal citizens that are working. You bringing down the class of normal citizens that own property and, and paying taxes and trying to keep up the land and trying to do what they got to do to make ends meet in the right way. And when you guys fall in that category, hanging out, want to be down with your homies, want to do, you know, want to kick it, want to drink, want to smoke weed. And you know I mean, not literally doing it within your household, but actually hanging out. I see this shit all the time. I don't give a fuck if it's negative 20 outside. You're going to have a bunch of motherfuckers be on some bullshit. And, and when I say it's bullshit, you ain't got nothing to do in life. You ain't got nothing going on. So when <clears throat> police jump down on you and you figure they targeting you, they in the community, they targeting me, they doing this and they doing that. You got to remember, they wouldn't target you if you had something going on. If you had shit to do, they wouldn't be fucking with you. Your man, your, your guy that go to work every day 24-7, your guy that go open up his business 24-7, your guy that he got multiple things going on 24-7, police do not target them. Why? It's because they movers and they shakers. They steady on the go. And not only that, they're paying their they paying their means and they're paying their tuition to society. How they pay taxes. They paying car, they they doing things, car notes, insurance, they paying their bills, they're doing things that keep them out of the spotlight with the police. So you look up, motherfucker getting killed. They get fucked off at three, four in the morning, two in the morning, you know, in them certain hours. You guys want to watch that. You guys want to stop being so eager to be around people that actually don't have your benefit at heart. This is the streets. This is alliance then. And it'll eat your motherfucking ass alive if you're not paying attention to it. Your best friend will become your worst enemy. If you're not paying attention to what you're doing in life, if you're not paying attention to your surroundings, you know, you got a lot of guys, man, a lot of, you got a lot of, and I'm not speaking to the guys that watching this channel, but you got, and, and I could, and it could, you know, it could apply to you. You might be one of those guys. I don't know, but this, you may need this help. You may need this shit. Get your shit together, man. Stop running around here with no motherfucking insurance, your car ain't tagged up, you ride on temp tags 24 fucking 7, every car you get, you keep it on temp tag because you're avoiding, you're avoiding the responsibility of tagging your car up, you can't go within 10 miles of your motherfucking home, you know, 5 miles within your home because you're thinking the police gonna pull you over, they're gonna lock you up, you stay within your own circumference, you've never been out of state, you've never been to different cities, you never travel, you never got around in life. You never expand your horizon. You never did none of that because you're still stuck in your same demographic because you don't have your shit together. You know, and you wonder why life is steady passing you up. You wonder why you're not making no progress in life. It starts with you getting your shit together. You know, you never, and I'm in, and I'm in Kansas City. You got guys here, man. I'd have, I'd have talked to guys that ain't never been as far as Overland Park, Kansas. Never been as far as Blue Springs. Because they wonder, you know, never been as far as up by the airport. You know, it's never been, and that ain't nothing. But they never been that far. It's like, what the fuck? Because they scared, they in fear of going to jail. Because they ain't got no, they shit ain't right. You know, they might run around with warrants. You know, trespassings and. You know, minor assaults and domestic violence and little stupid shit like that. Look, you know, dudes like that just stay in and they keep in the jail and revolving door. You type of motherfuckers. Get your shit together, man. You making us look bad, man. You make yourself look bad, man. You make men 
you make you make men like you know you you put a stain on a man's character with you doing shit like that and it could be you know whoever you are you could put a stain on your on, on the african american race or caucasian race the asian hispanic it don't matter who you are get your shit together man you know you can't put a stain out there especially if you calling yourself an alpha you know an alpha should be able to get out and go an alpha is free he's free of everything He's got the freedom to do whatever the fuck he want. He got the fucking resources to do, to, to do what the fuck he want. Why? He stacks his goddamn chips. He puts his money up. He don't flash. He don't do all that old other shit. He keep himself cool, calm, and collected. You know? Alphas basically do what the fuck they want. You know, a real person that actually saving their money, looking towards a rainy day, they're not really fumbling over a paycheck next week or the week after that. They're not guaranteed to look at They don't care about that. If it comes, it's going to come. They work for it, it's going to be there. Why? Because if they was to quit this job and say, fuck it, I'm going to start a business, they can do that. If they was to get fired from a job, they wouldn't give a fuck. Because they made that job work for them. They put their chips up. You know? I don't give a fuck if you hustling in these streets. You stack your chips, man. You know? You can be a fitness trainer. Y'all don't give a fuck if you, um, if you lay cement. You work at the gas company, light company. I don't give a fuck if you a waiter. At a popular restaurant or a non-popular restaurant. Man, I don't care. When you go that low, being a waiter, male waiter and things like that. And I'm not saying it's low, low. It's still a job. However, I don't judge no one. I'm not like these other guys, these other channels. I've been through the ringer. I come from the fucking projects. Dog. I come from the hood, the struggle. I came so far in life. But when you do go low as being a waiter, you definitely don't want to put a lot of shit on your plate. You definitely want to have your shit together. So you can grow. Because without your shit being together, you can't grow. How can you grow? You know, you run, you working at McDonald's and shit like that. How can you possibly grow? You run around with stick your pipe in every motherfucking thing, have all these kids and shit. You, you take it from you even more. I mean, come on, man. But you got guys out there like that. That's not having your shit together. I don't give a fuck if you do work at McDonald's. You want to limit your responsibilities on problems. Like children, a lot of dating and all that shit. You ain't financially together. You're not all the way stable and set to be going on a lot of these dates. You're not financially stable and set to be having these children. So why would you put yourself through that situation? Just look at you. Your mother and your father had to raise you. Had to take care of you, buy your clothes, buy your shoes, show up to your school, uh, parents teacher conference. You get sick, they in the hospital with you, spending nights with you, paying bills to keep your ass safe within that household, keeping a roof over your head. Come on, man, feeding you. That's a lot of shit you got to do for a child, man. And if you're not financially ready or mentally ready, how can you be ready to give to a child? You know, a lot of you guys running around here 30, 40, 50 years old without education, man. Come on, man. It ain't shit to get a GED. Get your shit, man. It's free out here. We had to get our shit in prison to where the shit was. You had to take two or three fucking pre-GED tests just to take one. Hear it out here. You can just flat out take that motherfucker, man. You ain't got to take them pre-GED. Man, go take that shit. Pay that little $50 or whatever. Take that shit. Lock yourself into the house for a couple months and educate yourself. Not literally lock yourself in, but, you know, educate yourself. Spend more time focusing on your education. Less time on bitches. Less time on trying to do other things that's, that's, that can wait, basically. I'm not saying that it's not important. I'm not going to say that, but it can basically wait. And focus on your education. That could be a step one. Yeah, too grown for a high school diploma, but you can always get that GED and you can always be accepted into any college if you score high enough. Oh, yeah. Focus on that. It don't matter how old you get, man. 
You know, life is literally what you make it. It's not done for you. You're not over with. You got legs and feet. You got arms, hands. You got a fucking mouth. You can negotiate. You can put your hands and feet to work, man, and go get that paper. Come on, man. So you fellas, man, stop running around here, man, penny pinching in life, man, and know that life is bigger. Life is better than what you see. It's more to life than what you see, man. You know, you ain't getting well with the bitches in your own city and in your own state or whatever. Leave that motherfucker. Go fuck with somebody somewhere else, man. Social media, man. That shit made it more easy for everybody to connect. Leave your shit, man. You got some money saved up to go get you a little rental or go get on a plane, set up a little time, nigga, boom, boom, boom. Spend a few chips, put the weather five, six hundred or whatever it's going to cost you to do all that shit and go, man. You'll get that back, man. Enjoy yourself for a few days, a week or whatever, how long you want to kick it, you know. Go enjoy yourself, man. That's life. You guys is looking for love. Who, who knows? You might find love where you going. Who knows? It, ain't, it don't mean that this shit's there in your city. You could be so fucking burnt up in your motherfucking city for fucking all them hoes being disrespectful. You know, not giving a fuck, such as myself. I don't give a fuck. Shit, I've been burnt up for a long time, but I keep reinventing myself like a fool, like a beast. I don't give a fuck, man. And why? Because I got the confidence. I got the charisma. I got the character. I got the wherewithal. They know that everything is going to be all right. And plus, I watch my plate. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with no full plate, man. My shit got to be somewhat empty. If I look at my plate, I can't eat all that shit. It's going to make me stuff. I'm going to be overweight. I'm going to have to, you know, I can't do it. It's going to feel bad for my health. So you fellas got to think like that, man. You know, real shit, man. Get your shit together, man. Life is what you make it, bro. Literally what you make it. If you run around this motherfucker not giving a shit, you run around this motherfucker bare back and dirty dicking and shit like that, man, you know what time it is. It's going to come with kids. It's going to come with a disease. It's going to come with problems because you're thinking about that ass. Fuck them hoes, man. Get your shit together, man. Bitch is going to be there, man. They there 24-7. As you grow older, man, them same bitches you, you want to get up on, them bitches grow older with you, man. Guess what? It's going to be younger bitches out there. Shit, it's always bitches. Just know that. Shit, fuck that shit. Don't let nobody tell you nothing else different. This is real shit, man. Like this shit, share this shit, and subscribe. It's the motherfucking message, man. Stop temp tagging it, doing all that bum ass shit, man. Go get your shit tagged up, man. If you own the motherfucking car, get you some liability insurance. If you ain't got enough for full coverage, that's cool. Ain't nothing wrong. Get you some liability. Get started that way. It's cheap. $40, $50 a month. It ain't nothing. Depends on where you go. You know, you ain't got a lot of tickets. You good, man. If you don't own your car, you make a car notes, you already know. You got to pay full coverage. But if you at a certain age, you're not running around no tickets, you're not fucking up, then your shit can be dirt cheap. You can be, It can be very much affordable. Stop, run, stop running around them temp tags three, four years on the motherfucking temp tag and shit, man. Looking real suspect out here, man. So we ain't, you know, on some bum shit. We can't have that, man. A man don't do that. A man gets his shit together, man. A man, a man is idolized. A man is um, he has so much admiration to where people know that when they see and hear this man coming, it's like a lion in the room. You know what I'm saying? They know it's um. It's a great sense of virility in that room as a man. So get your shit together and you will understand where I'm coming from. You don't want to be looked at other than what you are, man. You are a man. Just remember that, man. You don't want to be looked at other than what you are, man. None at all. None at all. Now to go to work. Train the client. Go ahead and hit this gym up. Like this shit, share this shit, and subscribe. Holla.